Hi, I'm Curly Sue, and if this is the first time you're coming to my channel, welcome to Curly Sue's Kitchen, where I post vegan recipes every week. Every single week, apart from when I'm filming stuff for television or doing press events or other bits and pieces, but I really, 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 really do try hard to post videos every single week. So today, I am making for you a vegan trifle, little mini ones. The reason I made these is because at my church, I go to church on a Saturday, I'm a Seventh-day Adventist, and it was Children's Day, and they said, could you make a dessert for Children's Day? So I thought, hmm, what could I do that's a bit different? Usually I make like a jam sponge or a chocolate sponge for church, because we have like a potluck lunch um, after church. And I decided, let me do something a little special as it's Children's Day, and I wanted the kids to kind of feel special so this is what I did so let's get on with making mini trifles so for this recipe you're going to need jelly or jello if you're in the US then you say jello in the UK we say jelly, so you need a couple of packets of jelly. Um, the vegan ones are usually come in like a powder form and you add boiling water, stir it and then put it into whichever mould you wanted to put it in. That's the type that I have. Um, you're going to need jelly, you're also going to need some sponge cake, so I will put a link in the description to my how to make a vegan sponge cake recipe video. So you're going to need one recipe of sponge cake, one tray, of that and then you're going to need um, a couple of punnets of strawberry not strawberries raspberries and some sugar to kind of because if you're going to crush the straw the raspberries um, and mix in a little bit of sugar with it you're going to need some whipped cream so I just bought the whipped cream you can buy vegan whipped cream in the can and you just squirt it on and then some freeze dried draw <laughs> freeze dried strawberries to sprinkle on top and that's all you need really. The little glasses that they're in, well they're actually plastic, I got those online from Amazon and they come with a little spoon and that's all you need. Yes. So what you do first of all is make up the jelly. So the jelly, you pour boiling water onto it, um, stir it until it's dissolved, pour it into the little containers that you're going to put the jelly into, let it cool down and then put it in the fridge so that it sets very very simple if you're using a different kind of jelly or jello or whatever kind of vegan jelly you're using just follow the directions on the packet that's all you need to do it's really easy and then pour it into whichever mold you're going to be using then you're going to need some sponge cake so once you've set the jelly aside you put that in the fridge then you get on with making the sponge cake so links in the description it will give you all the things that you need to know about how to make a vegan sponge cake which is my best performing video as well, by the way. So once you've made the sponge cake, you need to cut out little circles of sponge cake that fit inside whatever you're putting it into. So what I did is invert the little cups upside down, cut out the sponge cake, put it in on top of the jelly and just pushed it down. And then you're going to get raspberries, wash the raspberries, drain them, and then mix it in with a little bit of sugar. I used just use plain caster sugar. Crush the raspberries, crush half the raspberries, and then the rest you can kind of leave them whole or kind of semi-whole, so it's not like complete liquid, it's a little bit, has a bit of texture to it, let's put it that way. And then you're going to put that on top of the cake in, the, in your container. You squirt the cream on top and then sprinkle the freeze-dried strawberries on top of that and voila, you have your dessert. Now, because I was, was taking these to church, I made them at home, but I put the jelly and then I put the cake and then I stopped there and I waited until I got to church and then it was about an hour before we were going to serve it that then I added the raspberry sauce and then I added the cream and then put it in the fridge because the raspberry sauce you don't want it to, it to um, soak into the cake too much and then the squirt cream it will only hold its shape for about two hours if it's in the fridge if it's outside the fridge it's going to go 
it's gonna start not holding its shape quite quickly if it's warm weather. So basically, as soon as you squirt it on, put it into the fridge, and then you sprinkle with the freeze-dried strawberries. Needless to say, these went down very well, they thoroughly enjoyed it, and yeah, so I thought I'd share the recipe with you. And I also made um, a little reel for Instagram. So this is the reel I made for Instagram. Here. And that is the mini trifle. Now it's not like a traditional trifle because a traditional trifle would have custard in it, a custard layer, and it would use a certain kind of sponge, which is lady fingers, I think they're called. So it's not a traditional sponge, it's just my take on a mini trifle. But I um, hope you enjoyed it. If you do, make it actually. Tag me on Instagram, here's my Instagram. And that's it. So all there's left to do now is eat good, eat clean, eat blessed, Thank you so, so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.